Okay, uh, another optimization problem. This time a cryptography expert is deciphering a computer code. This sounds way more complicated. This is gonna be a really easy one. To do this, the expert needs to minimize the product. Remember in third grade, the product means multiply two rational numbers, a positive and a negative number, given, given that the positive number is exactly six greater than the negative. And when you read it all in one kind of sitting, it sounds like it could be complex, but when you write it out, when you kind of draw the diagram, it's pretty easy. And what we want to know is what final product is the expert looking for? So the first thing is all they're, all they're asking for is the product of two rational numbers. That's it. And if we don't know the two numbers, we just can name them X and Y. We know that they're, they're not the same number because it tells us that the positive number is exactly six greater. So, and it tells us that one of these is positive, one's negative. So I'm gonna let the X be positive and the Y be negative. And then, so if we say that X is positive and X is six greater than Y, we can say, oh, well, y then, whoops, is six less than x, right? That makes sense. And then the product then becomes x times y. Well, instead of y, we'll substitute this. So that will be the product. And then when we multiply that out, we get x squared minus 6x. And then remember, this is P, and then we're going to minimize P, meaning we're gonna take the derivative of this. So that's what we're gonna do over here. We know that we're multiplying, um, that we have a positive and negative rational number, and we wanna find the product of those two numbers. So here's our product, here's our derivative, and we're gonna set the derivative equal to zero. They both have a two in common, we factor out the two, that means x is going to equal three, right? So if x is equal to three, well, remember what y is. y is x subtract six. So three subtract six, so y is x subtract six, three subtract six, y will be negative three. So we have x is three, y is negative three, but remember what the goal was, what will the final product be? So three times negative three is negative nine. And that's it. That's it for this one.